Hello, my name is Kate and welcome back to Dungan Ropa. Last episode, let's see, um, Saika got murdered! That took a while for somebody to get murdered, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to be almost three hours in. Yeah, two and a half hours in. Yeah, we'll say, th yeah, we'll say two and a half hours in. I wasn't expecting somebody to be murdered that late. I was expecting probably within the first two hours, honestly. But, she got murdered. We let her into my room, which is gonna look really bad on me, actually, now that I think about it. Very no bueno. She came into my room, got murdered in my bathroom. Um, okay, I didn't think this through. This is not good. This is not gonna look good. If we're doing some, I, it said basically if, um, what is it? If you get caught, sorry, I'm getting some cheese. It said if you get caught, then you are, if you get away with it. Does it say anything about getting caught? Let's see. Students may reside within the school. Night time is seven is ten to seven. Blah. Blah. Don't like you. Okay. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate. Unless they are discovered. So what happens if they are discovered? That's the most surprising thing, is what happens if they're discovered? This cheese won't open. So, huh, yeah, I'm, I might be in trouble, I think I'm gonna be in trouble, cause she was killed in my bedroom, my bathroom to be precise, I love cheese, okay, ah, ah, you're awake, finally, you okay, <clears throat> now's no time for sleeping, get up, uh huh, uh, um, you're unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well. It's not a surprise, considering what happened. What happened? Hmm. Um. Hey, are you okay? No. My assistant got murderized. My assistant got murdered. I didn't have cheese when it happened. So it wasn't a dream? No, I'm, I'm out of cheese. Now I am in my... What I saw. It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is, is dead. A deep dark despair worked its way through my body, then exploded out of me. If I had cheese, it'd be a lot better. I shot up and took off running. Hmm. Where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. You were the one that saw. You were the first one. I have to see if Sayaka... Saika is. Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Saika is completely and irrevo irrevo irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. What? What? Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? You're going to pass out again? Well, what good is it to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym like at a time like this? Our friend Saika, she's. She's dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. That I was the one that found her dead. I found her dead. And there's blood. It's pink. We're made out of bubble gum. Or cotton candy. One of the two. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. And why? <laughs> Shouldn't be obvious. Monokuma, he told us all to come here. My feet is cold. Hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Saika had to pay. But... So... I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to... Did you just say correct to her own statement? We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Cheese. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? Well, he does run this place. It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Is it? Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone who vi violates the school regulation, I will absolutely not interfere. I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! 
I'm a famous I'm famous at Safari Park throughout the world following the Bear Times One rule. But, but who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's Hmm? Huh? What's the matter? You guys look all all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a gatling gun. Weird example. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yahoo! One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is a bona fide killer. I know it's bona fide, but bona fide feels like something he would say. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify that little fact. What? I was thinking, I looked at everyone else. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other, the combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? What is this? Someone killed someone? I mean, I don't like that, but yes. <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> uh, allow me to um, correct you, my friend. This is me speaking. Get away with it. Poo-hoo-hoo, poo-hoo-hoo-hoo, poo-ho-ho-ho. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz... <laughs> naive! You're just so naive! You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on hey, out of here? Hey! Come you're on now! You're super naive! Devilishly naive! Naive! No, 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 the real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, you must do it without getting caught. <clears throat> Even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You're referring to rule number six in the school regulations. Unless they are discovered. If you're a black and that committed... That, if you are the black and that committed murder, then you can't be found out by the other students. That's what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not just enough to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means... You need a system in place to assess whether or not it's gotten away with. Yahoo! So, after a certain amount of time, after a murder is taking place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Mm. Yep, it'll all begin a few hours after the murder. So we get to play sleuth? Is that what you're about to say? Everyone will gather together, including the Blatton, Blacken who committed the murder. And they are, they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, <coughs> the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, hmm. only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. Hmm. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Why did someone make this? Who decided that, yeah, we're gonna have a murder school that they have to go into junior detectiveness and trials? That makes sense. I just want to sit around my life eating cheese, but no! I'll be that one dude that's in the middle of it all. I'm just, I'm not saying anything, I'm just eating cheese. Look at him over there, he's just eating cheese. <clears throat> that dude's heart's gonna stop. Cheese! Well... So what exactly is just punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, what? it's execution! <laughs> Execution? What? By execution, you mean death. 
execution is execution. Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So to make sure I understand, if we get the couple right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, then we die. The rest of us get executed? Well done! What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it, with, do it without exactly saying it. basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system or inquisition type thing. And then you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. Mm. So judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Inside the rule I described to the, your handbook, make sure to keep it in mind. The rule has been added to the regulations hey. menu. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I got my timer up. I had it, um... Wait, hold on Who a second. You're freaking about? insane, you know that? Huh? Huh? What the... A class trial? What the heck is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? What do I have to do? Waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I, mean, I don't know. I thought you were a deep, dark, scary prisoner or something. Shut the hell up! Whatever. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! Don't be so selfish. Stop it. You don't want being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <sighs> <laughs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing! And I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist to the very end. If you really want to get out of here, <laughs> you have to go through me first. As I said, that, they came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! What? Oh my god! <laughs> this wasn't supposed to... Why me? Huh. Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. It was like that, she never moved again. No oh way. my gosh! I wasn't expecting that! So wait, you attack us! You, We have to let you attack us? What the? I don't... Uh, this can't be real. No way! Well now. No, I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I wanted, really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I needed to be do. I guess you all need to be taught a lesson after all. <clears throat> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. How do I just. <clears throat> I just hear Define a. Find like, me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Hmm. Junko had a been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. That's pink, though. Why is it pink? It was the first time I had ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. 
Nobody there could deny that they'd seen Junko, who up until a second ago had been our friend, is dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, that's the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's not really all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. It's not like it... Like when you die, you don't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why'd you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. That changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. You're being metaphorical. Are you saying I wanted to wait this waste time this whole time? Damn it! Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you help in your search for the Blacken. Little files, all the information I've gathered about the little death in question. I like to it's call it... the Monokuma file! I just like mm. you! I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with the corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Mm. What's that? How do I know about the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> yep, because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I gotta see it all go down. So then... So wait, then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do! If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice! Okay, so we'll meet up for a class trial in a little while. Okay. I wonder who did it. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. There's also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversible, terribly situ terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's no time to wall in your depression. The worst thing we do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continue to think about it and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened! Just a second. I wish I had my slippers. My feet are cold! So is in the killer is the most important thing. And I'm turning into a friend of mine who has ice cold feet all the time. Because if we don't, we're all gonna die here. <laughs> She's right, we need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, we, so we have to move forward. We have no what choice but to move forward. We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> the way in heck am I letting someone kill me? I wonder who it was. All right, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone else kept repeating that same sentiment. They were using it to, like, mantra to give themselves strength. They're right, we just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. That's what it takes to survive, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there's something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Owie! What the heck? I hate this, but so we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Could be any one of us, except for me. Was it you? <clears throat> if we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us will face what execution. What the heck? So, what, what? That's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? Stupid! I mean, it kinda is. Hmm. <laughs> 
You need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Is it you, Leon? Are, are you serious? So we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so you finally noticed. What the crap? I noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received. I noticed something very obvious and unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. What? She's right! <laughs> then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. Yeah, we swapped rooms. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> you expect heck? us to believe us? Just tell us the truth. Looking over her eyes, I had gone a complete 180 from a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Or I see the Monokuma files. Is it here in regulations? It probably wouldn't be. Or do I look here? No. It's not Aoi, without a doubt. It can't be Aoi. She's too perfect. Maybe Mondo. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that bear. Huh? Huh? Uh, um... What's going on? Can't run away from the situation. We have no choice but to move forward. Ifumi? Hey, um... Consciousness has crashed. You're starting now. Please wait a moment. I can't talk to those two over there. Chihiro! What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They. <laughs> Boom! She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Let me look at you, Junko. I gently place my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touch her wrist and check for a pulse. I could do a movie and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frank, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like huh? that. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead? To that... What? He's a little late. That means everything that happens so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Let me out of here! Heck no, someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? Alright, so all that's left is you, Kyoko. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can deserve the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? Oh, I see. Because if they have one person there and he goes and destroys it, or they could blame it. So if you have two people there, pretty much it can be, um, you know. Say if you actually put the killer on guard, if you put the killer on guard, then, um, he could destroy the evidence and be like, hey, nobody walked in, or let's say this person walked in. If you have two people who uh, are there, let's take uh, Mondo and Hifumi, if somebody walks in, Mondo could be the theoretical killer. I don't know if it is Mondo, but Hifumi could be like, hey, I saw Mondo do this, or, you know, stuff and stuff. Stop talking. Is it obvious? If you were the culprit, that's the first thing you would do. By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <sighs> So then... Well, I'll stay on guard duty there as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them, but their stats are totally <laughs> OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith hey. in the rest of you. I'm still freaked out, but I'll try. So then... Are we done talking? We need to begin our investigation. I was like tagged in the TikTok. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. Let's collect clues from the former foundation and construct an argument to come up with the final decision. If we get this so... wrong, do I really have to say anymore? Oh, actually, I'd rather you didn't, no? Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. That Kyoko hurried out of the Goodbye. gym. I'll be going too. 
Just like that, Kyoko is gone before we realized Yo. it. Yo. Uh, Byakuya. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? Better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. No, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me say this right now. Whatever s son of a gun did this, he is here right now, and the thing of destroying that evidence. You're fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their skull in myself. Good job, Mondo. I'm serious. I will destroy them. Letting his deadly words hang in the air. And he and Sakura ran off. So, um. But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, and we're gonna investigate a murder. How do we even do something like that? Throw cheese at him! Anyway! We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very suspicious. It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> don't come any closer. Are you going to kill me next? I think you killed her. So, um... Well, I hope. I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto is guilty um... yet. That's true. We may as well check. Just... Well, at least check. Just to check. <laughs> Never wanted to. I couldn't help investigate. Huh. Wait, why not? Why not? <sighs> I'm not good with b b b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Oh, yeah? That's not true! That is not true. Because you looked at Junko and didn't pass out. You contradicted yourself. I think she's the killer. But whatever, don't think anyone's expecting much from you anyway. Ha! I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it's pointless. Everyone had already left. And the parting looks at me has still been filled with suspicion. Does anyone think I'm the killer? I mean... Technically, it makes sense. That you would be blamed for the killer. We're not the killer, I can assure me this. But... There's a good cheese. I think Sayaka either knew she was going to get killed and wanted to blame it on me, or she was planning to kill somebody in the room and pin it on me. I don't know which. I think it's more of that first one where she knew she was going to get killed, but wanted Makoto to get blamed. No, that wouldn't make sense. She knew she'd die. I wonder. How'd it turn out like this? Did she swap rooms to kill somebody in my room? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is... Execution. Execution! Hmm... Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm now getting a little more thoughts in my head. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? I guess I should look over the Monokuma file we got before. The victim of Saika Mazano. The time of death was estimated around 1.30. I was asleep at that time. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that death took, death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was a slight injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist to have suffered a fracture. You have no choice but to push forward if you want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. We, so we can all survive. And for Saika, I have to find out how she was killed. Truth bullets, okay. Okay. I have a theory. I'm gonna put this theory out there right here, right now. Because she said somebody was knock was coming trying to come into her bedroom. They knew where the bedrooms were. So then we swapped bedrooms, meaning Sayaka was in Makoto's, Makoto was in Sayaka. So Ah, excuse me. With that being that case, why would they go to Makoto's room, this killer would be? Because if they swapped, I would still be in Sayaka's room, and they would want to go after Sayaka, which I am in her room, which means I should have been killed. But Sayaka was in Makoto's room, and with Makoto, being Makoto's room, the killer still went there. So either they were planning to kill me, or, 
they were wanting to kill Sayaka, and they knew they were in, that she was in Makoto's room. But, there's another possibility that I've thought of. There are nameplates. There are nameplates on the doors. I wonder... Can you remove those nameplates? I don't know if you can remove those nameplates. If you can remove those nameplates, I think she may have gone into my room to kill somebody, swap the plates, make it seem like, oh, this is my bedroom, which would make sense for that, unless they were trying to kill me. But if they were going after Sayaka, then that makes sense for that to go after there. Why would they go to Makoto's room if Sayaka was in uh, Makoto's room? So I, hmm. But I think, I think either Sayaka really was trying to get away from somebody. It's two situations. Sayaka really was trying to get away from somebody and they saw Sayaka go into Makoto's room and she was killed. Possibility one. Possibility two, she died to put the blame on Makoto. Like she wanted to kill somebody in Makoto's room. That's why she swapped because Makoto is very trusting of her. That's been very, sh very ad uh, adamant. No, that's not the word. Prevalent that he trusts her. So... I think she may have tried to kill somebody. Jihiro, you believe me? Aren't you gonna help um. investigate Jihiro? But I, I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay here with her. Hey, Yasuhiro! Uh -huh. No way, I seriously don't want to die here. Help me. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother of Earth, God of Space, King Neptune. <laughs> Help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigation right now. Alright, then I guess I'm gonna skedaddle! <laughs> So yeah, see, things that were, first of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. I won't make any progress without investigating there. There was a sword on the ground, meaning she did try to de either defend it herself or somebody tried to defend themselves. I wonder how to explain the fractured wrist, because that's a blunt sword. If you hit something with blunt enough and hit it with the right way, you can't actually fracture your wrist. I knew somebody who went, who swung a baseball bat and hit a baseball just right, and it actually fractured part of the wrist. If I headed to my room, or Sayaka's corpse still remain. This trumpet is loud! <laughs> I better examine the state of my room a little closer. Might reveal something new. Not the key. There's a key on the ground that has my name on it, so it must be my room key. If I remember correctly. That's right, we'll have to trade keys. We switch rooms and switch keys, too. So Kai's gonna <clears throat> would have the key in here in my room in the entire time. Wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <clears throat> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she could have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Maybe she dropped it somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. With how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullets of your key of your handbook. Sword. The blunt sword. The replica sword I bought brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in an attack somehow? And plus, it's taken out of a chief. If I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now, it wouldn't be it shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of coating. Remember the coating's 60 even if you just touch it a little. Replica sword is an added truth bullets. <clears throat> Okay, we got a sheath. There's a lot to investigate. The bed! They attacked my bed! <clears throat> the gouges in the bed are like someone attacked it. What the heck happened here? My bed! Monokuma, I need a new bed! <clears throat> Good inside, still kid is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence for them used at all. So I guess, I mean, it's mine and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Hey, seriously. Oh, what? Manda. We ain't exactly in the mood to be building furniture. So you haven't used yours either then? Why? Not just me. Nobody what? busted theirs yet, yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of those guys have opened their toolkits, because, like, why would we? Hmm, toolkit is out of the truth bullets. I got a notepad. Is something scribbled on my notepad? No pad so here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. 
maybe. This is the replica sword I brought back to self-defense. This mean was using the attack somehow. The sword's been taken out, so it's just a sheath. But there's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. How the sheath gets scratched up in the first place. The knife! And if someone uses a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Have a sheath like this would only get in the way, because slide off in the middle of the fight. That's why the scratches on the sheath. Sucker, do you think I'm guilty hey. too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. <laughs> Whatever decision that's if you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Well, thank you for trusting me, maybe? By the way. You know, I realize some of on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before we found the body, I mean. There's trash, there's a trash room in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely you possible. son of a bitch. That dirty bastard. <laughs> Shit. The one who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught You're me. Fucking dead. So if I ever find that son of a gun that did this, I'm gonna pound his face in. What if I? What if it was a girl that did it? Yo. Well, I'll get sorted out when the time comes. Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every Did inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Makoto. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concer concentrating pretty hard on it. The scratches and gouges on the walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. I was right. I was right there in the other room. If I'd only heard Wait. something, that would not have been possible. Huh? Hmm. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you can well. know. Perhaps this was another one of my Nakuma's strategies. Creating an ideal setting for murder. Okay, so that means all that's left is to the bathroom, correct? Yeah, we're going to the bathroom. I should look around here first. And check other spots later. There's scratches again. Well. Camera and mass murder. Even the camera and mass happening here. They don't do anything. Stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Oh. <clears throat> oh. What am I missing? Lint roller? Again, the lint roller looks like there's way less than what was once before. So I can see how dirty the room was and decided to clean up a little. What else is there to explore? Oh, right there! There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Oh. There must have been some kind of fight mm -hmm. in my room. Our rooms are completely separate. Remember, if anything happened, there's no way yeah. you could know. Trust this is blah, blah, blah. What do I look at? I mean, haven't I looked at everything in here? Do I talk to Kyoko again? Hey, Kyoko. Quietly called her name, I should be there, but... Up here we go again. What are you? Isn't it odd? I'm certain. Sir, did you lose it? Listen. Are you a clean freak? No, I don't think so, but what? Nan, she glanced around my room I one more see. time. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So. I searched your floor from one corner to another and didn't find a single strand of hair. Indeed. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not hair, one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that I mentioned it, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roll in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Did someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roll without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... 
That's a question, isn't it? Yeah, room cleanliness. Now can I go in there? Hey. Wouldn't you agree? Room. Let me check bathroom. Let me check death room. The bathroom. On the other side of this door. Now it's green! No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear, clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the burst, and the burst, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why, why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought helped me come, helped me up and supported me. I told myself I couldn't sit, face what I saw, but there was no time to think like that. I pulled the monokuma out to verify what it said about her body. Sharp object been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? This is something I should, lo should look into later. Also, coating the uh, Saika's right wrist is broken. Oh, no. Okay. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is swollen, it's all... There's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. That's gold. Another thing that concerns me is... There's blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger... Saika's wrist has been added to Truth Roll section near your handbook. Stab wound to her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. Meaning, she got attacked! And someone cracked her wrist! I mean, how, how could her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which, when, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted a deadly wound. What is this? E7? 3-7? I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. There I saw... Oh! 11037. Written in blood with the numbers 11037. Is that...? No. There's a dash. There's a line. If you look in the ones, it's a line. So it's N037. Does Sayaka do this? Am I... Okay, N037. I think it says 11, but I think it's NO. It would seem. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? Looks like he is Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. You often, often talk like an aspiring poet? Wow, it's so different looking at it from my computer or on my TV. But the number she wrote, what do they mean? <clears throat> 1137. I think it's N037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So. The way she wrote the numbers makes you think she wanted to use her body to block them. She wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her. I mean, she must have wrote them by only turning her hand toward the wall. If you were in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Out. You're going to need to cover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. Okay. So, pretty much, she's saying, sitting like this, looking like this. Wait a minute. 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 Okay. Looking backwards. Okay. I'm looking down. an N. I'm going to say that's an N. Hold on, was this a what? Wait, 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 w
I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're gonna, not going to tell me. Ah! Aha! Wait. No. So I'm going to look down. So it would be almost upside down. If you look at it upside down... Oh, that's neat. Sounds like what Kyoko is trying to say knows what di her dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask the ultimate Recording. programmer? There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? I mean... Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one who knows, but the door doesn't fit quite right in the frame. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was locked. But once you heard, learned the trick, it opens the problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to truth bullets. Correct. Door doesn't qu quit fit in the frame, huh? Actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh, the doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. What the heck? The door knob is practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something to set an envelope to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it was obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do so... that? I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unblocked, unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. The bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently stuck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at Just me. Just a second. I have one more question for you. I mentioned earlier that the bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka mm -hmm. knew about it. Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all I this. See. And that clears that up. What clears what up? I'm so Goodbye. lost. See you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob is out of the truth bullets. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look somewhere else. I should start looking where the murder weapon might have come from. Okay. Would that be the kitchen? That's the only place I can think of with a knife. I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Oh, bye guys, I gotta go find Owie. Stupid timer. Keeps blocking out. I have it set to 10 minutes, but uh, my screen doesn't go. Ah! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait. Huh? This is so. Ah! 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 Okay, so I've been framed. It's a Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. No. No, I haven't been framed! Byakuya! Byakuya! Do you see what I see? Byakia! That's my room! That's her room! Very strange. Why was Sayaka in your room when your room when she was killed? Could it be because you were the culprit? No, you got it wrong. Sayaka and I switched, ro switched rooms last night. She didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his <laughs> face. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? I mean, no. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? The reason Psycho was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? No. The nameplates got switched. I thought it was Psycho's room. She's dead because of me. Then it should have been me that died? <laughs> well, what I can say right now is that it's a very... it's a possibility. That's... that's really true, then I... I don't like you, Byakuya. I need to go into Psycho's room to get the trash, don't I? Leon, Hifumi, Leon. Okay, I was, I wanted to go in there, but I guess not. 
I think I know who the killer is. I think. Owie! You believe me, right? I gave you earmuffs! You know, are you investigating the dining hall? No, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. It's all first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps calm me down. And uh, so I know I shouldn't, but I've been kind of just hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayako was killed. No, Hina didn't do it. Hina would never! Is there a knife missing? I'm looking at everything. Hmm. Veggie tables. Bunch of vegetables. I'm seeing them worthy about it. Didn't get them on a Kuma coin. Why? Wait a minute. That should be. Isn't there one there? Am I forgetting things? Or is there one like right there? There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but looks like one of them is missing! Murderer came to the kitchen! Was it missing from the very beginning, or... Better see if anyone else knows more about it. Psycho, no Psycho. Owie was in the dining hall. Hi, Owie. So did you notice one of the kitchen knives is missing from the yeah, dining totally. hall? Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was strange. A uh, knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh. So it wasn't missing from the That's beginning? Right. No, if last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Wow. I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea, went back in the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. She's... Did she get a knife and hand it all off? No, but Owie wouldn't. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea mm. in the dining hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right in the dining hall when someone came in and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. I always account to the added truth bullets. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! Owie! No! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Well, she was killed in your room, right? No. She was killed in Sayaka Makoto's room. Not Makoto Sayaka's room. You guys are supposed to be friends, right? But he still killed her. On the other hand, two people become a good friends, and killing one is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Owie, no. You can trust me, Owie. I gave you earmuffs. I want to go in the room. Leon! Hi, Leon. Hello, Leon. It's a uh, very interesting shirt you have. It looks like it's covered in blood. I know blood is pink. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Saiko was killed in your room. You can't stop thinking about it. Could be the nameplate. Somebody picked up on it. Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss Naizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely would not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. You really think I'm guilty? Oh, that's right, there's a trash room! Somewhere. This way. It's over here. It's right there. Right? There's a certain gate here, no way to get past it. It's the end of the line! The trash room is where all the trash in school eventually winds up! How do you get this gate open? No, no! You can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person cleaning on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning no, duty? No, no! You can't go any further! No, no entry, only the uh, cleaning duty. Who's no, on cleaning no, duty? No, no! You can't go any further! I'm gonna slap you! Stupid, we fast go no, around and no, ask the others. No, you can't go any further! Shut up! Cleaning duty is added truth bullets. Okay. Okay. I don't want to accidentally tap it again. So who would be on cleaning duty here for me? I can't walk sideways. 
Alright, so who would be on cleaning duty? Let me check the laundry room. Let's see, it is daytime. Okay. I'm gonna progress. A little progress. We're gonna go somewhere else. Can I go into the A, B room? Isn't it class 1A or 1B? It's class 1 something. Oh, can I go in that door? Leave the area, yes. Oh. There's nothing in here, I just might as well check everywhere. You. Toko, can you tell me anything about mm -hmm. cleaning duty? Cleaning duty? What's your problem? I don't know anything about that. Taka's the one who cares about the super organizational stuff like that. I haven't seen Taka. I haven't seen Taka. Oh, hey, Taka. Speaking of the devil. Hmm. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. Really? Listen to me! You probably realized I was basically in charge, so we decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning That's duty now? Wrong. Actually, no. Okay, then who is? <laughs> if Fumi was there when we had this conversation, he volunteered right away. So he is on cleaning on duty. Indeed, we'll swap out on a weekly basis, so I'm sure you'll be up before Got too long. It. When the time comes, I'll be counting on you! Oh, Hifumi, there's an AV room. Let me go find you a second, Hifumi. Nothing inside, okay. Disc! Sayaka's room! I'm not going to the store right now. That'd be just a really rant, like a horrible thing. Guys, there's a murder! Hold on, I'm in the slot machine. You. 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 Where were you on the night of the fifth? I'm looking for whoever's on mm. cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? This happens. Bundakuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so formally, I have formally applied for the AA position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. Since you're in cleaning duty, you can open the gate from the trash room? Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And do that, they even gave me a key for the mm -hmm. trash room gate. So we get... But you're supposed to rotate once a week, so you'll eventually be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get the trash room, and the only person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why don't you leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? That light is not working. Like, I have my light right up there on, but it's like super duper dim. Uh, it does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Actually... We're kill something to become black and we'll graduate unless they're discovered. So that's it. That must be why. Anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, <clears throat> and destroying evidence would be easy. The fear would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen! You know, more important than that... Hey, you bastard! Hey, fatty, why'd you want a cleaning duty to gig anyway? No. Um, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did is it. it. Like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash. Looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. I hate his design. The more I look at him, I, he's reminding me of, like, Doraemon. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. There's all kinds of trash stickers like that. Maybe we get tired of 2D and then turn into... Completely unforgivable! <laughs> I would never get tired of 2D! <laughs> Just spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D... Quit! <laughs> Ing. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is a shower of love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're also worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, then there's an easy solution. But whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. 
Anyway, on another topic, topic, Ifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm hmm. What, so now you want to suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, if you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss, no, nothing like that. I was hoping to get into the trash room to look around. You oh! Got it. Okay. So easy. So Hifumi and I headed to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They say he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside. He never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please, just hurry up. <clears throat> Okie dokie, leave it to me. Ifumi pulled, uh, pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch to the next gate. Next to the gate. And then... Oh. Mr. Naegi! Mr. Naegi! Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No? So I want to see if the actual killer tried to destroy any evidence mm. or not. But if the actual killer is you... Mm. But the killer actually... Uh, but the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if he left anything behind. <laughs> But maybe a parallel world? I wonder if let's just hurry up and keep looking. Shut up, Ifumi. Because I see something on the ground. Two things, actually. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It used to be looks like some kind of glass ball. Just big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Who had that? Didn't Yasuhiro have one? This perhaps... Yeah! Is that... Do you think... That... Do you know what this is? Mm-hmm. Let's say if you collect all... Is that a Dragon Ball reference? Let's say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Mm. Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and show you a glimpse of the future. Yeah, we know. What's that, Yasuhiro? I don't know. Just like that. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. His dude's just full of references. I get what you're trying to say, but who did the particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. It should all still be in the gym. I better go find out for sure. Was it Yasuhiro? Because I see that there on the ground. Bloody shit! Bloody uniform. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece. Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Anyway, this is... A piece of cloth in the shape. Part of the sleeve from the button-up shirt. Now the look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... He's all that's left is some evidence the killer destroyed. There are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough to figure out who the killer is. Burnt shirt piece has been added to the truth bullets. Oh! Oh! A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mechanism. This is the incinerator. It's way, way back in the part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now. Mm-hmm. See the green and yellow buttons next to the Matthew incinerator? Yes, indeed. Pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. So somebody threw the glass ball, hit the green button to get it started. Sooner or later, you'll be on clean duty. So make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? <laughs> Someone turned on the incinerator! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was, was down it here. Was a fairy? Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Yes, because that's totally believable! Hey, Fumi, do you realize what you just said? Huh, the fairy? No, you just said last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. There can be a mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I've been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate... Most gates, suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone's able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gates. How's that possible? Okay. Incinerator's been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. The whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clue clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! I want to slap you! What does it mean, Mr. Nyagi? Will, we, will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it! I'm Everyone sure already of knows it. you did it. All the mysterious uh, mystery, all the mysteries are being solved one by one. It sounds like he's living at one of his own comic book fantasies. I know who's done it. I think so. Okay. I'm gonna take a, um, not in this one, because I'm actually gonna think, depending on how this goes, I think I might actually stop before the trial starts.
Can I go into Sayaka's room now? No, I cannot! Seems like... No, something doesn't seem right. I'm on a with blah, 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 blah. Okay. What now? Okay. Jim! That's right, Jim! Jim, Jim, Jim! Go talk to Yasuhiro. I do not like this move of control at all. Taka. I want to go up there. Hello, Jim. I was about to ask where Junko was. I forgot she died. Junko is my friend's favorite character. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? I No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Got to get out now. I have had enough. I've got to break free. Hero, snap out of it. Um. Huh? Hey, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Does this look familiar? <gasps> That's my crystal ball! I knew it. It's all smashed. What the heck? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? what? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did the guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said it was controlled by crystal ball, controlled the world. So seriously, all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So can you say without a doubt that this uh, belonged to you? Um, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. I think I know who's done it. Should I go big brain time? I know I said I wouldn't, but shall I? Is it time to go big brain? No, not yet. Thanks, hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um. Sure. By the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two years came out to be like a million. Uh, a million? Um. Pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering the, it gives you the power to control the world. That's just, that's too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Hey, Chihiro, is that my guy? Huh? What is it? So I got left me a message. Write out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Um, sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her oh, head. I'm sorry. So sorry. I just don't know. Well, don't worry about it then. Thanks for trying. Even she doesn't know. Well, could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, she couldn't be. Hello, Junko. It's really right about a She really is dead when the answer is gone. Yes. But I think I have an idea of who it could be! And who knows, if you did what I did, I think everybody should know who, the, uh, who it could be. Celestia! Sorry, do you have any clues or anything? <laughs> What kind of clues? Just let us agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Shut up, Celeste! It was you! You did it! No, she didn't. Or maybe! No. Whatever secrets I may have, I do not intend on revealing anything until the class trial. Okay, then. Do you have any suggestions for where I can start looking? I mean, you've looked at everything already, Makoto. Well... Uh, so annoying. Was you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? <laughs> Suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. Scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash here is also worth looking into. The trash room? It is a perfect place to destroy evidence, however, there's one little problem, which is... As for me... That place is filthy. I'd rather die than set foot in there. <laughs> I'm trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. That's... terrible. I don't like you, Celeste. I do not like you. I don't like you. You can go die in a hole. Or a fire. A fire in a hole. Bedroom, check. Store, check. There was... Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. I wonder what that room is. That's Monokuma room. I've checked every room. Check, uh, uh, that's the medical room? I haven't been able to go in there. The bathrooms. I haven't ever checked... I've, 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 I think I've talked to everybody, haven't I? Okay, no, there's that one. Okay, so there's the other one I checked. 
<clears throat> Let me check the bathroom sims. I just look at Toko and walk out. Yoko? Is that her name? What's her name again? Toko! <clears throat> what is this room? What is this room? Oh, it's this room. Okay. Let's go check out the bathrooms. Is there something in here? Nothing. So what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? I'm... I gotta find Kyoko, I think. Very strange. Once I can run you into it, but a ba ba I already read all this. <laughs> it's definitely my room with the name that's like his name on it. We're switched? Oh, that... Oh! I had to talk about that, but why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplate's been added to two sections of your handbook. Truth bullets. Okay, does that mean I can go into her room now? Finally! Only one thing in the trash. Well, that's actually three things or four things. See, it even has like name on it. It's like I'm really upset after what uh, whatever was in that video. I wonder what did she see. Might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Psych, I need to borrow this DVD. I just sense maniacal maniacalness. Time to go to the AV room. Let us go! Walk the building! Let us go! Go away! I've got the place memorized now. Yay! I should be able to use to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Saika threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player as the music stopped behind me and maybe begin to wonder, what am I about to witness? I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then I heard a cigarette click, uh, a lighter click behind me. I look behind and I just see Sayaka standing there in the darkness. As you look at her in the darkness, she just wonders, what did she do to deserve this? Did she do anything? No, she didn't. Probably. But she did anyway. She died. But nameplates got swapped for whatever weird reason. I'll never understand why those nameplates got swapped until this day. Oh! Oh! I just cleared my throat. That O oh cleared my throat. Ew! An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka! She was there al She was there along with a friend she said she had been out. She had been said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing in front of the crowds of whole life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... The voice that came to the spy so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Oh no. What's what's happened? Murder. 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 Suddenly the screen went dark. And Saiko standing in front of me again with her, with her cigarette. Looking at me as if I had done something to her. And the next moment, the cigarette went out. As the screen went on. I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> what the? Saika disappeared from the stage, which is now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that <clears throat> was the figures of the girls who had simply collapsed. 
this ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion-dollar question. What, oh, what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Like a Sayaka, maybe? Look for the answer after graduation. That warning, video cut off. What the heck? That wasn't real, right? <clears throat> a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he's even he's able to get to them? That really did happen. Everyone on the outside. The world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Dong. Bing. Bong. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say <laughs> we just get started, hmm? Okay. It's time for the long-awaited... Trial! Class trial! Now Yay. then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. It's the red door. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. My hair is messed up. <laughs> See you soon! Red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. Or where I have to go. Oh, I don't even have the trance to walk there. There it is. All right. I'm going to save right here. Because I'm actually going to end this and have the trial in the next episode. But, like I said, I think I know who's done this. If you put all the clues together, the clues that I have seemingly surmised and masterminded myself, it's, it's a plot twist, I'm the killer. It's closer than you think. But, um... The numbers that were written, can I actually look at the picture? The numbers that were written may not actually be numbers. You know, may not be numbers. Kyoko is onto something. I'm not gonna say what, but you also have to take into account the, um, the, tra the incinerator. With a wall that was roughly 30 foot away, and a glass ball that was thrown in order to turn it on, seemingly. However, these glass balls are not the easiest thing to throw. They have some hefts to them. If anything weighs like a, a little bit, it gets harder to throw. I you know I have an eight pound iron ball I use from strength training to help my, keep up my throwing on it. Also dodgeball, I destroy people in dodgeball with that throw. But um, that's hard to throw that. And a glass ball, I don't know how much we'll say. We'll say they weigh five pounds. It's hard to throw five pounds, 30 foot, unless you are actually good at throwing. And one person in here is good at throwing. But, you know what, I think I may say who I think it is. I believe the killer of, um, uh, let's say Kyoko, Sayaka, put all the clues together with the, uh, with the, uh, 11037, the burning, the burnt piece, the incinerator is 30 foot away and the shattered crystal.